a big part of this country now is something you say you would like to get rid of, along with bringing the troops home from abroad, and that is transfer payments, more commonly known as the welfare system. What would you, what would you put in its place? Who would look after the poor and the unemployed and so on if you who's, did all that? Who's looking after the poor today? We have more poor than ever before. We have more people without medical care. We have more people in the streets after 50 years of the welfare business. The Soviet Union have decided that socialism doesn't work, and they're looking towards capitalist answers. We have discovered that welfareism doesn't work, and we have two candidates out there only advocating more government. So I would say if you really care, if we care about the poor, what we must do is recognize that a free market provides for the poor, that protecting liberty provides for the poor. If we get rid of the welfare system, the biggest fraud that's going on is this idea that welfare helps the poor. The poor get thrown a few crumbs and the welfare goes to the rich. The military industrial complex makes most of the money. The, w the dictators overseas who get our foreign aid, uh, the bankers who uh, benefit from all the international banking schemes that go on. So the little guy is always voting for welfare. He gets a few crumbs, but they collect enough money to get every poor family $45,000 a year, and the poor aren't getting anything. So what we would say is we'd stop all the welfare, and since 80% of it goes to the wealthy, the poor would have a much better chance of being helped. There still would be need. There would still be a couple percent of the would people. Would you leave it to private charity? Or yes, we would, because we do not sacrifice the principles of freedom that creates the greatest amount of wealth and abundance and takes care of 98% of the people. Why sacrifice the principles of freedom? Uh, what we would do then is we would have to do this through voluntary means. Last year, we donated $198 billion last year. The welfare state has only been around for 50 years and is a total failure. It's causing runaway inflation. It's causing a huge deficit. It's uncontrolled government. And we face serious times ahead because both Republicans, all they know how to do is run up the deficits. The real deficit this year was $238 billion when you add the off-budget items. You say 